Before I start this video, I want to say there are huge spoilers and explanations in this video about Kingdom Hearts 3, so if you do not want that, click away right now. And with that said, let's go ahead and jump into it. So for this video, I want to tackle the scene that I think most people just skipped over or didn't even know was there entirely. But to me, it's actually really important to the end of the game. In the last or the final world, as they call it, when Sora is collecting his fragments of himself to become whole again and go back to the real world, there are a few scenes that you have access to here. The one I want to focus on is the one with Namine. Sora? Yes? It's me, Namine. Namine? So in this area, there are certain stars you can talk to. They're kind of glittery spirits of people who are lingering in this world. I want to talk about the Namine scene in particular because it has so much information in the events and what's to come right after this scene. So before we actually just play the scene, I want to kind of set it up so you can see what exactly this shows. Basically, Namine is lingering here and says she's still something because she is safe in Kairi's heart. And when she went to darkness, that's how she ended up here. And basically, the scene's going to explain all that. And this is very important because she explains that she will lend Sora a helping hand when he goes back. Now, if you look at the final battle, when Sora goes back and Terranort begins to attack them... There's a figure that is a suit of armor that steps in and everybody who's familiar with the lore knows this figure as Lingering Will. And he even talks and says, got you, Xehanort, and actually fends him off for the rest of the party. So this moment is the exact moment when Namine helped Sora out. Somehow Sora realized that Namine was going to do something because he remembered and if you remember back in Kingdom Hearts 2 or have seen some gameplay of the Final Mix version, you can actually fight this entity in the Keyblade Graveyard by teleporting there from the Disney Castle. A little backstory on Lingering Will. This is actually Terra, the real Terra. It's his armor, and within this armor is his will. And now it is your darkness that shall be the arc that sustains me! Way back when, when Xehanort was taking Terra's body and consuming him, his armor stayed behind and actually crumbled to pieces. Terra's willpower reanimated his armor when his body was taken over in efforts to stop Xehanort. Terra's will was so strong, it was able to re animate his armor and be an entity in itself it was this armor that fended off xehanort and that is why xehanort was so scared going back to the keyblade graveyard after these events the suit of armor was kind of known about but it became stagnant in a kneeling position waiting for the right challenger to arise the worthy challenger was in fact xehanort lingering will and aka Terra kind of knew that Xehanort at some point in his master plan was going to have to return to the Keyblade Graveyard. So that's where Lingering Will stayed and waited for this moment that we see finally in Kingdom Hearts 3. When Sora saw this in Kingdom Hearts 2, the Terra armor or Lingering Will, as it's officially known, recognized some power within Sora, and it even asked Sora if he was Xehanort because he was so strong. Lingering Will was kind of confused in this moment, but he thought Sora could be Xehanort, and it actually animated, and that is how we got the secret boss battle in Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. When you defeat Lingering Will at this point, he returns and says he just sensed the strong power and returns to his kneeling position, waiting for whatever's to come in the future. When Sora finally talks to Namine in Kingdom Hearts 3 in the final world, she explains that she could possibly have a connection to that lingering will, and that is what happens. Namine makes a connection while she's here with all the data and memories, and lingering will saves 
Sora and all his friends in the Keyblade graveyard initially when he, they return. So for the end of the video, I'm just going to play the scene in case you haven't seen it. And then you kind of piece together everything as she's talking. But I can see why Square Enix did this. Kind of a nod to like the fans that know the lore and everything. And I'm sure a lot of new players are like, who the hell is this? You know, in the suit of armor. And yeah, it's just kind of a nod to those. And you don't really need an explanation. And it's nice to have the cutscene there as you know, basically kind of an explanation to new players. If veteran players kind of played this, it's kind of predictable what might happen. Um, so I kind of see why Square Enix left it to the side to where one might not notice. Because if someone knows the lore and understands the story of Kingdom Hearts, up to that point when Sora returns, they could probably piece together that something might happen with the Lingering Will, especially since Terranor is so scared of him that it would just make sense that he would show up at some point. So yeah, what do you guys think? I know this video has been going around, but I'm going to play it at the end and let you guys see that after the explanation. I just think this is one of the coolest scenes. I'm glad they did leave it out as being someone who kind of understood the story, but I feel like this is the most important scene that a lot of people skipped over in Kingdom Hearts 3, especially those new players, because they might be confused when Lingering Wheel shows up. However, it's just... A badass scene if there's ever you know one of the top scenes in kingdom hearts 3 that would be a contender for one of the top scenes anyway guys that's about it for the video here's the scene once again and we will see you in the next one if you like this video talk to me in the comments be sure to like and subscribe yeah peace sora yes it's me, Naminé. Naminé? I'm so glad that you managed to hold on to who you are. Why are you here? I was in Kairi's heart, but then we were struck by a powerful darkness, and I woke up here. And Kairi? I can feel her heart. She's fighting with all her strength to keep you from fading away. So, the reason I retained my form in this place... It's because she's holding you together. Go to her. I'm trying, but what about you? I can't just leave you stuck here. It's okay, really. Kyrie is where I came from. So when she's safe again, Kyrie is where I'll return. Naminé, I know that I'm supposed to thank you. The datascape doesn't count. I need to say the words myself. But not like this. You and Roxas can't tell me you're okay with this. I know how much you're hurting. I felt that pain through Roxas. He's the one they all miss. It's... not me. Wrong! What about me? Kyrie, Donald, Goofy, the King! Roxas too, he misses you. And someone else special I know won't let you down. Sora, thank you. <laughs> well, then I'm gonna go save Kyrie, so at least you'll be free of this place. Okay? Oh. Wait! Huh? While sifting through memories, I spoke to Terra, the Keyblade wielder you've been looking for. He has a strong will, and it keeps him tethered to the Realm of Light. I'll try tracing that connection. Maybe that'll be enough to tip the scales in the other direction. Huh? Um... Let's just say I've got your back. That part of you? It reminds me of Kyrie. Thanks, Naminé. Oh! That's not the official thank you. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, see ya! Be careful.
Who are you? Got you, Xehanort. This is impossible! How I've waited for this moment. Hmm. 